Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair a broken starter rope on a Toro lawnmower. When you think about it, it's not uncommon to start your mower two or three times each time you mow your lawn. So it's no surprise that with all this frequent use, that over time your starter rope is going to break. But fortunately, it's an easy repair, and we're going to show you how to do it now. We'll start by removing the top cover on the mower, which covers the starter. Now I've removed the screws, I just need to remove the dipstick now, and the cover will lift right out of our way. I'll put the dipstick back in just so we don't get any debris inside the engine. The starter itself is held to the engine block with a couple of screws, and I'll remove those. And now I can remove the starter assembly from the engine. When the rope on my lawnmower broke, it broke right at the end. I only lost about two inches of the total length of the rope. So I can go ahead and reuse the rope. Had the rope broken in the middle, I'd need to replace the entire rope. Also, occasionally a rope will break due to other problems with the starter, uh, such as a bad spring. If the spring is bad on your starter, you'll want to take a look at our video about how to repair the starter on a four cycle engine. Let's go ahead and replace the rope in this starter now. Before we put the rope back into the starter, I need to prep the end. You can see it's all frayed. So I'll first I'll cut just a little bit of the rope off. Then I'll burn the end to keep it from fraying again. You can use a match, a lighter, or in this case a torch. Then I like to take that end and kind of roll it, which puts a little bit of a tip on it, make it easier to thread it into our starter in a second. Now we need to go ahead and wind the starter pulley to put tension on the starter spring. First we'll want to determine which direction we need to wind it. You can see on my starter the rope comes in this way and wraps around the starter like that. So I want the starter to pull the rope in the opposite direction. So if I wind counterclockwise on my starter, you'll see that as it unwinds, it pulls the rope the direction I want it to go. So now I'll go ahead and wind this about six or seven full turns, or basically until I have enough tension on the spring that the starter can't be wound anymore. Okay, at this point, I have as much tension on the starter as I can get. And I want to be careful here because if I were to let go of this, there's a lot of sharp objects on this starter that could potentially cut me. So I'm going to use a screwdriver and stick it in the cogs of the starter so that it won't unwind. Now what I need to do is you'll notice on the starter pulley there's a hole. That's where our rope needs to go. This is the corresponding hole on the starter housing. I need to line these two up. I can't wind it any tighter, so what I'm going to need to do is carefully release the tension until those two holes come in alignment with each other. Like that. Then I can put my screwdriver back into the starter to keep it from unwinding. Now we'll go ahead and thread the rope through the starter housing and into the hole on the starter pulley. I'll line those holes up as close as I can get them, stick the rope in, and then align it through the hole in the pulley. It might take a few tries to do that. With the rope through the pulley, now it's just a matter of tying a knot in the end of the rope. I want to make sure that knot is good and tight. And it can't even be a good idea to put a little bit of a super glue on that knot to keep it from untying. In this case, though, I think we'll be fine. Now I'll pull that slack back in through the starter and make sure our knot is not going to interfere with any other parts of the starter. Now I'll hold the rope and remove the screwdriver. Now carefully and slowly, I'll allow the rope to recoil back into the starter. Like that. You'll see on my particular mower there's a stop on the rope 
that keeps the rope from going any farther into the starter. That's so I have the proper amount of slack for the rope to extend up the handle on my mower. With our rope repaired, now we can go ahead and reinstall the starter assembly onto the mower. Just set it in place and reattach it with the screws. Now we need to thread the rope through the hole in the engine housing, but the handle doesn't fit through the hole, so we'll have to remove the handles so we can pull the rope through. To do that, I'll just pull the rope out of the handle and untie the knot that holds it in place. Now I can remove the handle, thread the rope through the housing, and replace the rope into the starter handle. Tie a new knot. And pull the rope back into the handle. Now we can go ahead and replace the cover. I'll get the dipstick out of our way. and place the cover back onto the engine. Again, I'll get the dipstick back into the engine so we don't get any debris in there. And tighten the screws down. As you can see, repairing the starter rope on your Toro lawnmower is a simple repair you can easily do yourself. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to leave a comment or ask us a question.